thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, do a little short video while I'm uh, waiting for Mr. Blackberry to come. Uh, he's picking me up and uh, we're out today and uh, I'm not sure where we're going but uh, I'm glad to be out and about. Uh, now, uh, I've had a lot of messing about with police, telling me what I can do and what I can't do, and where I can do it and where I can't do it. Well, now, I've got rid of them bell conditions. And uh, I'm out today, and uh, I'm just going to try and get this on for you. And as you can see, there you go, behind me, I'll just get it there. And uh, there's the shot for you boys. That's the shot for today because Arthur Taylor is back on the road. We're on the road again. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. And uh, if I just go down this way a bit, and uh, let me just see if I can get this right. No, I'm sorry, I'm not right good with hand-to-eye coordination. Uh, but, up that road up there behind me, where you see that van is going to be turning left, as on towards the train station and smack in front where you've just seen that van as where that lad got beat half to death and I'd like to just give you an update on that at a minute uh, what actually happened what actually happened that uh, that lad that uh, that was uh, beaten half to death and uh, I thought he'd actually been taxed. Well, it turns out that uh, he hadn't been taxed. It was a New Year's party and he were a bit of a, shall we say, a bit of a gobby bit of a gobby person really, so I'm told. I don't know because I don't actually know him. But he thinks he's a bit of a cage fighter. So uh, you can imagine a New Year's party, a young lad with a gob on him and thinks he can have a go. He's had a go at the wrong person That person's took offence and shown him what a proper fighter can do and beat him half to death and left him for dead. I totally disagree that the man beat him half to death and left him like that. I think that's a coward's thing, me. Fair enough, if somebody has a go at you, you've got to have a go back. And they can't complain about what happens because they have created it in the first place. So what I will say is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I think it's his own God that's got him in trouble at, of at New Year. But it doesn't excuse what they did to him. They left him in a coma on the street. 
that's not good. You don't do that to somebody. Fair enough, if we have a go, mate. If I if I'd won and I knocked you out or anything, which is highly unlikely, cause I'm a lover, not a fighter. Uh, any fighting needing to be done uh, is done by other people. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not a violent person. Uh, I used to be. But I can't afford to be anymore, can I? Let's get it right. I've got four vertebrae in my neck, damaged, can't be repaired. They tried in 2013 and failed. And that's damaged fourth and seventh vertebrae as well. So basically, surgeons are telling me it's, it's part is over. Uh, I know you might think it's an odd thing to say, but I am conditioning myself to the fact that uh, shall we say my demise is coming sooner rather than later. And I don't give a toss whether you people believe I'm doing these videos as my little legacy or not. I don't give a toss. You've asked me and I've told you. It's down to you what you believe and what you don't believe. And I don't give a monkey's fucking toss. So you people, all you trolls, just get on with it. Because... From now on, instead of just leaving you and letting you get on with it, when I can be bothered, you're gone. Simple as. Removed. Dismissed. None your business. Big respect, none your business. Big respect. I've got the gimbal back, but it's a bit off kilter and all sorts of things, but a friend of mine has put an app on my laptop, which police have still got. And uh, what it does, when you, if you put your phone on and it's slightly off kilter sort of thing on the gimbal, it, uh, you can level it up with this thing, it's up plus and minus on it and press it and it, it sorts it out. And I don't know if it's because it's been stood and it hasn't been charged or what. It seems to be losing its charge. Uh, I'm gonna go buy a power pack if I can get one before Marty gets here. So, uh, I just thought I'd do this little video because it's early and I'm all excited and I've just tried to see what Liv Free's up to but I can only get a video up that's posted up that I've already watched. So, I'm guessing Liv Free is either still on his way or or is already all. So can I just say to you without further ado, Liv Free, I'm not right happy that you didn't let me come, mate. But what can I say? Uh, I think you did a brilliant job. You know me, I am a worrier. I know people think I'm just a knob. But, what I will say is, if you're home, mate, once you get to this court thing out of way this afternoon, uh, 
I'm sure you'll be able to get a full body mass here of Shannon with some essential oils. Yeah, mate, I'm not joking. It, flat on your back on to living room floor. You can have kids crawling about, poking you in eyes and everything while you're at, while she's doing it as well. Kids will think it's mint. Put them in that chair that you give them that chocolate with. You remember? Put Peppa Pig on for them. And they'll be happy, mate. Uh, I am actually buzzing that I know you're at least going to be home in the next few hours and you're at least in this up this area. Soon as you get dumped off, like, and you, you, you're there all of a sudden, you're there in Wolverhampton and you're thinking, what the fuck am I doing? Let me out. I'm cured. I've had the full treatment. Let me out, boss. Please, please, boss. I'll not do it again, boss. Well, I'm just uh, pottering about now. It's half past eight. Marty's picking me up at eleven. Wow. I've put washer on. I've mopped kitchen floor. Uh, I've had a couple of cups of tea. I'm going to have a walk down the village. I've got to find a battery pack if I can. I'm going to get this phone back on charge. Uh, because Marty will definitely, definitely lead me astray. And then tonight, if all happens, he'll put it up on his channel and he'll, he'll point the finger and say it will me. Well, I'll tell you now, people. I'm just an old man, me. Let's get it right. I've had quite a few painkillers this morning. I'm floating about. But, oh God, I'm starting to shake as well. Uh, I don't know whether to take this gimbal. I'll just take this selfie stick I'm using at minute. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take both because I don't know whether Marty knows it or not. We'll have to do a police station at least today. He won't be very happy. In fact, as soon as I say Marty, which police station's near here, mate, when we're uh, at our destination, shall I say, I nearly slipped up then. That's what Liv Free does, he slips up regular. He gets carried away with a moment. And uh, he'll forget to have his mask up. Or... It's not about the identity. It's got nothing to do with identity. It's about character. The people that comment on my channel already know me. And have known me for donkey's years. And... Uh, there's been a, a few, shall we say, unsavoury comments that are supposed to be coming from people that are close to me. Well, let, you tell, let me tell you something. Any information you've got about me, I don't give a fuck. Because if I'm stupid enough to let muskers feel my collar, I deserve it to be felt. I don't do what you fucking trolls do and sit there and go, Oh, boss, please, please don't lock me up, boss. Oh, please, boss. 
I can't do it without my drugs, boss. If I get my collar felt, I shut my gob. I let them do what they've got to do. I do what I have to do. And I make sure I've got blankets, a hot drink, and I always go for the drinking chocolate. You can't go wrong with drink, drinking chocolate, can you? And I always tell them to get you two, because them cups, they're only that size. Wow. And guys, turn that central heating off in themselves. Them fans. You're blowing cold air on prisoners with next to no tongue because you've took all the clothes off them, you muppets. We treat prisoners of war better than that. Let's have it right. This is why we call you fucking tyrants. That's because that's what you are. Well, let me tell you something else. The muskers have been parked outside my fucking house this morning. But, my head wasn't switched on. I still have bail conditions on my head. Do not, f do not film the police. Do not put the police on social media whatsoever. Well, let me tell you now, boys. You're going on. First copper I see. You better listen to me. You're going on TV. And who's going to put you there? Me. I might be some nutjack, old 63-year-old. Dying of spinal injuries. But I don't give a fucking toss what you people think. Well, let me rephrase that. First off, can I say, I'm sorry for going on a bit. And can I just take this opportunity to... Uh, calm myself down and say a quick thank you for Max Maggie for watching Liv Free's back online and I know you did because I kept seeing your name going up and that's why I kept saying respect, respect and I'm sorry I missed a load of people, but at the end of the day I was jumping on Live Free's live and talking to people and taking over his channel. And that that that's not good. I was. I was saying Respect to people on his behalf that uh, were contributing for cups of coffee and stuff. And uh, so I just said respect whoever it was on Live Free's behalf. Now, uh, as I've said, I'm out today. I'm going out to play. I don't know what time I'll be back. All I can say is I'll be back. Now, just to say once again, welcome home, live free. And this is a special one from me. Happy 2021, mate.
get a hot bath, some essential oils on. Let my uh, Shannon give you a foot massage and everything, mate. And take it easy.